Hello. Welcome to the ESO video. I look a little different. And you might be asking yourself, wait a minute. Did you change classes and races and all sorts of other stuff? And the answer is yes, I did. Uh, the um, Necrom upgrade was on sale on Xbox for like $13. So I bought it and I decided like, oh, I'll just make an Arcan Arcanist just to try it out, see what it's all about. And uh, I was like, well, this is way, way more fun than uh, the Necromancer. So I was like playing through and I got to basically the exact same point I was with my other character. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to play as the Arcanist instead. So I've basically done all the same stuff that we had done with my other character. And uh, a couple things more. I'm Undaunted, Fighters Guild. I haven't done the Mages Guild, but uh, I haven't done any other story missions or anything like that. And I was like, I'll do the Und Undaunted Daily. And I was like, well, I think there's a companion that likes the Undaunted Daily. Maybe I'll get that character. So that's where we are. We're here to get Isabel to join the squad. Miri will be my main, but if I'm doing the Undaunted Daily, I'll whip out Isabel. So we can get that reputation, you know? So we'll see if I can become friends with Isabel with Miri out. Oh, the other thing too is I made all sorts of gear for my character here. So I got Heartlands, five piece going. So I double EXP on my weapons. And then I also have the orders of... Uh, Orders Wrath going on, so I get all those bonuses there. They're I'm wearing level 20 armor at purple rank, and they're all enchanted. So I've been having no problems. I accidentally sold a little world boss. Not that that's a huge deal, but I was fighting guys like this guy's tough, and then I beat him. I was like, oh, that was a world boss. Oopsie poopsie. Anyways, I have never done this quest. So I don't know how it goes. We got Oriella. She doesn't look too happy, and we got Isabel. So let's uh, get this get this going. Wow, look at look at me looking right at the camera. Isabel. I'm sorry, this isn't the best time. My friend Aurelia has a bit of a problem. Her mother has promised her hand in marriage, and I need to get her out of it. Oh. Somehow. Hmm. Actually, you look quite capable. Would you mind lending me a hand? Sure, I've never spoken to you before in my life, but yes, I'd love to do a quest for you. And who are you? Apologies. My name is Isabel Valois. Oh, Valois. I'm an aspirant and a sapphire attorney. A proving ground for squires looking to join the knightly orders. Okay. Aurelia's mother is knight commander, and, um, brashly offered her daughter's hand as a prize. Oh. How are you going to get your friend out of this promise? Well, normally, aspirants only compete in one of the trials. If I can win all three, the Knight Commander will be compelled to grant a boon of my choosing. I can free Aurelia from her mother's promise. What do you say? Will you be my second? Do you want to be married to Aurelia, too? Is that the whole point of this? I'll help you, Isabel Valois. The eight must have me in their hearts. My second just left my service, and here I was thinking I'd have to do it alone. All right, there are three knightly orders here on the aisle. Let's decide what task to tackle three. first. Three? Oh, you mentioned the three orders. What are they? What do they What do they want us to do? The people of the sisters take pride in our knights, the same as anywhere in High Rock. The Sapphire Tourney hosts three orders. The Iron Knot, the Oaken Order, and the Order of the Albatross. Oh, really? What do you know about the Order of the Iron Knot? They're martial warriors and excellent a horse. You might say the Iron Knot is the most traditional of the Sapphire Orders. Oh. Our trial will be to find the hilt from a lost sword called Red Heart. It was the blade of the first Duke Dufort. Where was the sword lo lost? Somewhere on these lands, before they belonged to the Duforts. The hilt supposedly had a massive rough-cut ruby in it. Should be easy to spot. My last squire, Burjo, suggested we hit the castle library to get an idea of where to start looking. Okay, let's find that hilt for the Iron Knot to the library. Let's meet up at the castle library in the Knight's Wing. 
I've spent many an hour there studying up on monsters, history, oh. and healing. My only complaint is there aren't a lot of novels. Can we talk about what's going on? Of course. Drake, I'm sorry. Drake. I bet I came on a little strong. I've spent months preparing for the tourney. And now the commander's pronouncement has sent me adrift. I'll be all right. What would you like to know? <laughs> what does drag mean? <laughs> Sorry. It's a curse I picked up from my dad. A word from the old druid tongue that's been co-opted for common folk. I sort of grew up here at the castle, and it's a little more acceptable than the curses the dockhands use. So I use it. Got it. Why are you so eager to help Aurelia? Aurelia and I grew up together. We've been close since we were very young, and, well... I can't stand the thought of her marrying one of the other aspirants. Especially Morton's. My goodness, what a dreary man. Does this tourney happen every year? Nope. The tourney is only called every few years, as schedule and aspirants allow. The commander wants to make sure there are enough people in the mix to make it a challenge. And the orders are only so large on High Isle, as you might imagine. How does the tourney work? Come on, Isabel. I'm not sure how Tam's folk tourneys work, but here, each order sets a challenge. Attempting the challenge for an order marks you in good standing, and each order only chooses one or two aspirants for knighthood. It's fairly competitive as a result. What order do you belong to? I'm not a knight just yet. That's why I'm in the tourney. I was a squire for years before I came an aspirant. You don't want to know how many stalls I've cleaned. The tourney gives me a chance to prove my worth to the orders, you see. And which order do you want to join? Come on, Isabel. That's a handsome question. I wish Thank I you. had an answer for you. <laughs> I can see ways that I'd be a good fit for either the Oaken Order or the Iron Knot. Maybe even the Order of the Albatross. Wow. That's a problem for day's end, Isabel to face. <laughs> Quite the fence sitter. That's all the question I have for now, Isabel. Go on. I'll catch up with you at the castle's so library. So she wants me it's to go to, to the find. library. Big room full of books. Can't miss it. Big room full of books. You're going to help us. Oh, the eight bless you. I am. I am going to help you. Um, she should know I know all about um, libraries. My title is Librarian. Well, I never said my character name. My apologies. Is it listed anywhere on the character sheet? Is there a way to actually see your... Oh, on the, <laughs> on the bottom of the screen? Constance Odette. That's her name. Let's see if Aurelia I'm has going anything to, have to say. One more go at convincing my mother, excuse me, the Knight Commander, to see reason. Making a promise like that for me? What was she thinking? Have you seen the other aspirants? Who are the other aspirants? Ugh, Langley is a boar. Brelinol cares only for coin, and Snag is an oak. Snag. And then there's the milksop moribund Mortons. The less said about him, the better. If they're that bad, why did your mother make the pro this promise? That's a complicated question. The easy response is that Commander Jorvel never goes back on her word. But it's more than that. The tourney means the world to her, and in recent years, we've had fewer entrants. She offered you up as a prize to attract interest? Uh, no, no. She, yes, yes. She, she just wants me to be happy. It's expected of noble ladies on High Isle to marry for advantage. Advantage to the ladies, mind. She thinks I'm afraid to take that step and wanted to give me, well, a push. Wow. Okay. Should I run right down the jousting area? See if I get killed? Wait, I can only go behind here? That's lame. Um, I was... As I was doing the, uh... Starter area quests on Stros Makai, there was, you know, you gotta recruit Jakarn and... Um, Naramo. And I know you meet, see Naramo later in the game, but I, did, I didn't know about, like... Um, Larissa or Jakarn, but there you are. Let's see if we can unearth the past, shall we? As I was running here to get this, I was like, "Oh, Jakarn is just standing People outside." All over the place. Like he was just standing oh, really? at some ruins, like here. And I was like, "Oh my god, does that mean he appears in other zones? Should I really be doing all the lower level stuff to get all the characters and their lore and everything. So, again, I'm sort of stuck on what I'm going to do here. Well, Duchess Alea has rather neglected the castle's library, if you ask me. There were more books here back in her grandfather's day. How old are you, you turd? All right, let's see if Isabel has anything to say. 
My previous second, Burjo, had a good thought. To look for the early history of the Du Forts. He likes reading dry texts. I like hitting things with a sword. Okay. I'll start with this book over here. Mad Baron Denzil Part the Thir Part the First? What? Part the First? Part the Part the Second? Is that is that supposed to say the first part? <laughs> Like, yeah, should it say one of three? History of Shield Building, Volume 1 of 27? Good lord. How many pages is this? Not too many. Mad Baron Densil, Part the First. Even the finest families contain a bad seed or two. In the case of the story Duchy of Dufort. Is it Duchy? <laughs> it was many generations ago that the heir to the noble line was a fellow by the name of Densil. His cruel reign as the head of House Dufort is remembered to this day, despite the best efforts of House scholars to erase it. Even now, the cottagers around Castle Nav Navir scare their children into obedience with a threat that the Mad Baron will get your little fingers if you don't behave. This stems from the legend that Baron Denzel would sever the fingers of anyone who displeased him. The tradition goes that he started with the smallest finger and worked his way up from there. When asked why, he said that the, uh, the offender retained use of their hands, thus they could serve the house... But the missing digit, or digits for repeat offenders, was a reminder of their subservience. Just a few years ago, a trove of very small bones, most likely finger bones, were found buried on the grounds of Castle Navir. Although this does not give truth to the legend, it does lend it credence. The depravity, cruelty, and depredation... Depredation? Depred... I can't speak! Depredations of this spectacularly terrible man make us glad that our current house leaders have progressed from such barbaric punishments. What was that one about? I found something about crop rotation. Oh, Exciting. fun. Mad Baron Densil Part the Second. Oh, this is too many pages. As a youth, the Mad Baron Densil was one of four children sired by the third Baron Dufort, Gethmar, and his lady Baroness Joanna. Densil's three siblings do not survive to adulthood. Their deaths clouded in mystery the current day. It's said that the despicable brother had engineered their deaths, though this is pure conjecture. What is known is that the death of their thir her third child was too much for Baroness Yo Joanna, and her mind was shattered. In response, Baron Gethmar had her locked in a tower where she lived the rest of her days. Densil reached the age of majority and was officially declared heir to the barony. The death of Baron Gethmar followed just a year later. A rogue arrow buried itself in the Baron's shoulder during a hunting trip, a wound which should not have killed him. Modern historians suspect poison on the barb, but at the time, no evidence of any wrongdoing was discovered. Soon after Denzel took the reins of the barony, he dismissed most of the loyal aides and staff, some of whom had some of who had served the family for generations. All work on the knight's swing for the castle, which Gethmar had began begun, ceased, and most knights who had fa often found a warm welcome and good companionship within Castle Navir departed for less disagreeable environs. Environments. Denzel spent the next several years looting the once overflowing coffers of the barony, taxing his subjects to such an extent that they fled to other fiefdoms. Across the region, good land lay fallow, fallow. The Mad Baron and his cronies rampaged across the countryside. The few ships that came out of Navir's once proud shipyards were substandard. It was as if his mental state, a cursed whirlpool of anger, self indulgence and innate cruelty, were reflected in the quick downturn of this once well-run, prosperous barony and shipbuilding concern. Yeah, I know that these, you know, kings and stuff always want to, like, do some mad whoring about, but, like... I don't know. Just seems fucked up. Mad Baron Denzel Part the Third. None alive no now know why Denzel behaved so cruelly. No portrait remains of the fourth Baron of House Dufort, praise the eight, but contemporary reports suggest that his eyes were as black as a wood elf's, but flat and cold. Having wiped out his treasury within two years of taking over, wow, two years, Baron Denzel set his sights on finding a wealthy bride. The Dufort name attracted an ambitious, ambitious and very wealthy merchant, and he agreed to offer up his eldest daughter in marriage. The Dufort title in exchange for her extensive dowry. The two were married by proxy, and Baroness Helena arrived at the castle to meet her husband for the first time. It was said she was a woman of plain looks and extreme intellect. The day she arrived at the castle, Helena insisted on meeting the dowager Joanna. Despite the harsh conditions, Denzel's old mother yet lived in the tower. Denzel took his new bride to meet her mother-in-law. No one knows exactly what happened during this encounter. The new Baroness later said that upon seeing Denzel, his mother leaped from her squalid bed and issued a horrific screech. She grabbed her son and, with uncanny strength and flung both herself and her sole surviving child out of the tower window. They plunged to their deaths. Baroness Helena remained at the castle Navir. 
A cousin of the Dufort line, Sinville, was decreed the fifth baron. No one was particularly surprised when the widowed baroness married the fifth baron a month or so later. Since that union, the barony was has prospered and was promoted to a duchy du, 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 ducky? What is that? After the conclusion of Rancer's War. Whatever curse struck the Mad Baron House Dufort has luckily appeared to have died with him. The Battle of Meadow Fort. I'm going to read that one last because I'm guessing that's what's going to tell me where the sword hilt is. History of Shipbuilding, Volume 1 of 27. Okay. By Edana Augie, Sistres Historian. The folk of the Sistres Archipelago have been building large sh ships large and small for generations. In the modern age, vessels from the Dufort shipyards can be found in every navy afloat. They rank among the finest craft to ply the waves. So where can we trace the origin of this maritime industry? What can we do to further our understanding of shipbuilding and our collective heritage? Join me, gentle reader, as I hoist the sails on this fascinating tale. Let's begin at the beginning. What is wood? <laughs> Cast your eyes to the western shores. The land around Castle Navir has provided the trees for shipbuilding from time beyond counting. Long before there was a house due for it, the sturdy limbs, those mighty branches, were the bedrock upon which fleets of craft were built. Consider the grain of the wood itself, which creates a beautiful and pleasing form upon which to base our fortunes. The wood of High Isle is uniquely suited to shipbuilding. Its cork oak and other qualities of timber are varieties of timber. Oh, my f researching finished for my greaves. Scholars have theorized that perhaps our druidic forebearers may have even influenced the growth of the these trees to be especially well suited to watercraft. But further study is required. Okay. And my robe finished uh, researching. The Battle of Meadow Fort. From the History of House Dufort by Kara Metric, house historian and chronicler. The final battle took place at what was then known as Meadow Fort, a smaller hold, holding built by Harabant, later the first Baron Dufort, in the Old Stone Wood. The battle started at dawn and went without surcease until sunset. Harabant's famed sword, Red Heart, was broken during the last hour of the battle. Despite this, the great warrior defeated the dread sorcerer Felbor by hurling the blade and driving it through the evil one's black heart. Harabant lost his hand from the wound suffered in the battle and subsequently became known as Harabant Handless until he was elevated to a barony. It was said that he had the blade of his greatsword melted down and crafted into a hand to replace the one he'd lost. Many of his subjects attested to his irritability and were bruised by that very hand. Years later, the duke replaced his ancient hold with the mighty castle Navire to the west. It stands to this day a place of great renown and worthy of such as an illustrious family. The hilt of Red Heart was never found. The small hold has long been overgrown. It stands as a mute testament to events that trans shaped the very nature of High Isle. So we don't know how long ago this was, but at least two generations. So let's say this was 40 years ago. We're just going to go find it right now. Find anything promising? Yeah, let's we check. found it. The book was already open. I bet my old second Burjo offered the same advice he gave me to Aspirant Langley. Drake! Drake! I think it was a it, it had a clue about Red Heart, Old Stone Woods. Let's see. You're right. Looks like the Du Forts had right. hold fast there before they became nobles. How did I get so good? Oh wait! I know this place. It's an old ruin off to the east. Aurelia and I used to pretend it was a witch's lair when we were young. You knew about this place? Why did we need to look it up in a book? Well, in my defense, I didn't know it was owned by the Du Forts when we played there as kids. We also didn't go looking for knightly relics, which now I wish we had. Fair enough. How do we get to the ruin? There aren't really roads back there, but I remember a nice wide path we can take. I'll mark your map. Oh, thank you. Maybe if we hurry, we can beat Burjo and Langley to the ruin. Sounds good. I'll meet you there. I'll see you there. I'm hoping we can beat the other aspirants to the hilt. Why are we looking for a hilt? Didn't you say the Iron Knot valued martial skill? Each of the captains have their own view on how to earn honor. I've heard stories that the Iron Knot's captain, Orlfeth, has slain trolls twice her size. So just swinging a sword won't impress her. She wants warriors that can think as well as fight. Does she hide this hilt out there for every attorney? Wait, did I miss that? That this is a hidden hilt? <laughs> That's a funny thought. I don't think so, but we can ask her. The hilt itself is classic Iron Knot. A historic trophy from a mighty warrior who fell in single combat at a crucial battle and changed history with his blade. Okay. Go to the Dufort Ruin. Yeah, okay. 
There's a lot of stuff. It's kind of crazy that none of this is considered stealing. Ooh, a Khajiit loft bed. Oh, Khajiit loft. Read. Matze! What the heck? Oh. <laughs> There's a dude here. It's like, what is happening? Alright, where am I? Let's look on the map. Oh, it's near Jakarn. As you can see, I dyed my outfit a nice pink. Oh, and my um, style I chose was Ashlander. I've been trying to get all the Ashlander like style pages, and I got the mask. That's the big one. Looks like I'm wearing like I don't know a gas mask or something. Let's go to this one. Sure. Ooh, that was a fast travel for sure. Horse is so slow. I don't have any scrolls to like increase my riding speed. I use them all <laughs> on another character. All the ones I got from like, whoa, what the heck? Is this guy. What's his deal? No, oh, he's not that tough. He just looks tough. Linen Sash of Hell. Okay. He looked pretty tough. We got Fawn Thorncaster. Oh. Wait, I got two homies? No. Yeah, I do have two homies. Isabel and Miri. Oh, dang. It's a girl gang up in here. You can definitely tell the new zones with their new enemies. Maybe they should try that. Uh oh. pass through. Uh this douche. I guess what he said. Sorry, Isabel. Virgil, you asshole. Hurry up, will you lad? I'll need sustenance forthwith, and you don't have much time to make me a meal. Second, well, over here. Let's talk. Sure, let me talk to Burjo first. Tell Lady Isabel that I hope there's no hard feelings. Sir Langley promised to take me on as his squire after he becomes a knight. She asked me to help her in the tourney. I'm glad you're helping her out. She's a nice lady, and I felt bad leaving her in the lurch. But Langley was very persuasive, and I really have to become a squire, so... You didn't want to be Isabel's squire? I did, but just look at Langley. He already acts like a knight. When he joins the Order of the Iron Knot, he'll be the most knightly... Uh, knight in the Order. My father was very clear. No excuses. So here I am, chopping this tree. Oh, good for you. So this is what's blocking us? Bojo, I can't just climb that over that? Is not going to chop itself. Call him Bojo? Aspirant Langley. You and Isabel should just run along. Leave the tourney trials to aspirants of stature. Aspirants such as myself, of course. He's the facial hair of a villain from a 1920s silent film. You don't you don't want to work with Isabel? Are you going to lecture me, Langley Latart, about knightly behavior? I think He is not. a tart. I hold no grudge towards Isabel, but this is a competition, not a garden party. My second and I were here first. Wouldn't it be faster to work together to clear the, clear the way? I would lose the advantage of having gotten here first. I see no reason to hinder my trial just because you think it would be nice of me to do so. Now, run along. I have work to do. Burjo, put some muscle behind that swing! Why are you blocking the path? Right now, I should say those trees are blocking the path. I, Langley Latart, arrived here first. My faithful second shall aid me in removing the trees. Then we shall proceed into the woods. You two will just have to wait. Once the road is cleared, we should all we could all go in together. I was here first, I should note. Look at me. I am large, I am muscular, and well trained. If Isabel and I were to come to blows, I would likely trounce her. That would upset my lovely bride to be Lady Aurelia. 
I don't think Aurelia wishes to be pushed into a marriage. Well, that is a shame. But the Knight Commander herself offered Aurelia's hand. She is honor bound to keep that promise. I don't want to boast, but I will be an exceptional knight. With Lady Aurelia's connections, we would be perfection. Perfection. It's crazy that they have all these Shut voice off, lines man. that this road is mine. most people probably don't listen to. Because it's not telling you to like talk to Burjo or Aspirant Langley. It's telling you to talk to Isabel. I wonder what the... They must have stats to see how many people actually heard those lines. So crazy. All right, Isabel. It's not worth a row with Langley over who can search the woods first. I'd best him easily, don't get me wrong. But blatant fighting between aspirants is frowned upon. Doesn't matter. I have an idea. Sure. Langley's first and last thoughts every day are about himself. He'll have Burjo working on moving those trees. Well, <laughs> until he gets bored. So let's just go around. Okay, there's another way. Remember, Aurelia and I used to play up by the ruin. There's a path around the rise to the east. Let's go carefully, though. We stopped playing up there when a fawn warband moved in. Oh, no worries about them. Let's go. So, around east, eh? So we just gotta go take the old scenic route. Is this the fawn band you're talking about? Oh, I did the wrong button. This class has got to get nerfed or something, right? I'm killing things so fast. Nothing wrong with a little compared to my harvesting. necromancer that was so slow. Oh my god! It's crazy how fast I'm going with this this dudet. Here it is, just like I remembered, by the curved tree. The ruin should be at the top of the rise. The curved tree, eh? Well, I guess, sort of curved. What do we got here? Horvor? Did that guy climb the wall? That was pretty crazy. Oh, there's a tower up here. Oh, yeah. Look how big this guy is. Holy, that's gross. Imagine seeing a moth that this size. Is it. The old like, no stones, thank you. The locals call it. Let's find that hilt. Yeah, let's find that hilt. All right. Inside here, that's where it's got to be, right? Oh. Oh, is it over here by this rock? Oh, I found it. The hilt of the sword, red heart, blade of the first Duke Dufort. That's it. Come I got on, it. Here before Langley and Burjo arrive. What is going on here? Ah, careful there, Squire. Don't let the branches snap back. You've scratched my armor. Okay. That must be around here somewhere. Where is he? Get to work. Wait, is this him? I'm not sure it's chivalrous of me. But I hope that Arth wastes the rest of the day looking for that hilt. Is that what's going on here? It didn't load him in properly? It sure sounded like that's where the voice was coming from. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> See if I go away far <laughs> enough if he'll pop in. Let's kill this guy. He's minding his own business. I better just blast him into oblivion. Mm. Weird. Follow Isabel. Hey, Isabel. We did it! Red Heart's hilt! As a knight aspirant, I know I should wish all of my competitors equally good luck. But Stendar, forgive me. I hope Langley gets bitten by every mosquito out here. We've got the hilt, and the Iron Knot's trial is complete. You must be pleased. I am. 
I assumed the Iron Knot trial would be all about sword play and martial skill. Maybe horse riding. Horses and I don't like each other much. Anyway, I'm actually quite pleased how we did. I'm gonna make her ride a Let's horse. Move on. What can you tell me about the Order of the Albatross? Eight above, help me. They're artists and sailors, singers, bards, and pirates all. Brave, swashbuckling warriors that make you recite poetry. Ghastly stuff. Is our trial a poem? No, thankfully. Our trial will be to reclaim the gilded loot of Captain Brenvale. Okay. The story goes that he went down into the castle crypts years ago, hoping to use song and steel to subdue a spirit. He never returned. Hopefully we'll do better. All right, let's do it. Let's find the loot, oh, loot for the Order of the Albatross. We can meet up at the Navir Chapel. The entrance to the catacombs is in there. Okay. We gotta go back, eh? All right. Why don't you get on a horse? Oh yeah, you don't like horses. That's right. Steadfast hammer and saw. Wait, is this a striking location? Oh wait, is this where I made my gear on the other character? <laughs> yeah, it's Order's Wrath. Okay. I've been here, but I didn't remember it. I've never done this zone, so I just ran here and built the gear and then left. Look at these sunflowers. Pretty cool. Alright. Off to the way shrine. Into the crypt. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Is this... Oh yeah, there it is. Like I didn't see it on the map. All right. Get on my dwarven yeah. steed. Oh, here it is. Hey, give me strength. Of all the sneaky, dishonest. What's the problem? We've got a small hitch in this rope. The key to the catacombs entrance is usually right near the door, but someone took it. I'll pick the lock. No problem. Perhaps one of your competitors. Drag. I hope not. The idea of aspirants trying to directly sabotage each other doesn't sit well with me. And I see that look in your eye. No lockpicking. Wow, she read my mind. Buff my plates. We still need that key. No lockpicking. Got it. Is there another key somewhere? Yes. Let's split up. I'll go speak to the castle stewards, and you head for the offices of the Knight Commander. We can meet back here. Stend our willing, one of us will have some luck. I'll meet you back here, then. I still can't believe someone took the key. So childish. I bet it's Morton's. Did you say the Albatross? Morton's. Did you say the Albatross knights are pirates? I mean, they're not real pirates. They're knights who ride the waves instead of horses. And sing. By the gods do they sing. There's an old joke around the castle that they're called the Order of the Albatross because they're so damned loud. Right. They want us to get a musical instrument. Yes, a golden lute. The story goes that some years back, the head of the order, Sir Brenvale, went down to clear the catacombs of a mad spirit. I think it was some Dufort noble? I I'm not sure who. But Sir Brenvale never mm, returned. Why did a singing sailing knight go after a ghost? I'll be honest, this is one order I'm not likely to join. They're an odd group. But it kind of makes sense. Just think of them as something like chivalric bards. They're constantly on the hunt for new chivalric cabaret. New tales to tell. Chivalric cabaret is what. Let's meet back inside the chapel. The catacombs entrance is down the stairs. Roger wants to do an American Dad. He doesn't want to do male stripping. He wants to do chivalric cabaret. And he has Jeff do the erotic dancing. Pretty funny episode. I watched too much American Dad. Oh, mother. Oh, Aurelia. How could you do this to me? Optional sec step. Talk to Aurelia. What's going on? Thank you for assisting Isabel. I'm so grateful to you both. Aspirant Mortons came by not that long ago and told me he already had a honeymoon trip planned. The audacity. Are you here to talk to your mother? I'm trying to muster up the courage. We've been fighting quite a bit. I made Isabel promise not to say anything. I didn't want her jeopardizing her place in the tourney. Can't the commander just admit she made a mistake? You must be new to High Isle. My mother is Dame Jorvel, Knight Commander. 
She has never, in all her illustrious career, gone back on her word. Not once. She offered my hand in marriage, and by the gods, her honor means she won't unoffer it. Surely for her daughter she could make an exception? Apparently not. And here I am, working up the nerve. Mostly pacing. I know Isabel can win the tourney, but I just can't sit idly by either. Ugh. Isabel and I are trying to enter the catacombs, but we can't find a key. Oh, one of the other knights probably took it or hid it. Cheating! Isabel will not like that. You're right. Hmm. One of my mother's aides might have one. It's good she sent you to ask, though. Best she avoids the knight's wing for now. Why? She and I have been friends since we were very young. Knowing Izzy, she'll want to avoid even rumors she appealed to my mother for help. I'd start by asking Dame Hendra. Nilsman might have a key as well. Oh, thank you, Aurelia. That's really uh, like reading cool too, you know, of you. If you ever need an excuse to get me something. Another recipe. Elise Moray. Hello. If you're looking for the Knight Commander, the office is just down the hall. Thank you, Elise. I was looking for the Knight Commander. Why can I just rob this place? It's crazy. This great sword belongs to me now. Also, this great sword and these sweet rolls. I've already robbed this room. Who, who's this? Nilsman book lover. Well, I'm um, the librarian Constance, so you can talk to me. Oh, hello. Uh, do you need an appointment to meet with the commander? She's a very busy woman. I should be able to find room in her schedule. How does next month sound? Actually, I need a key to the catacombs. Do you have one? No, I'm sorry. That's not something I can give. Wait. Oh, God. I take it back. I'll give you all the keys you want. Just do me one small favor. A quest within a quest? What's the favor? Give this note to Lady Aurelia. Discreetly. It's my latest poetic offering. A treatise on her virtue. It's crucial that you do not reveal who it's from. One day... I shall reveal myself as the author, and she will finally see true love. I'll go deliver the poem then. Uh, I'm going to give it to her, see what she says. Hello again. Did you manage to find that key? So I need to give you this poem to get the key. It was a weird conversation. A poem for me? Who... Oh, this is from Nilsman, isn't it? Every one of the tourney aspirants is after me, and I have a bookish Nord sending me poetry. This day is... What's... <laughs> I've had better. What's so bad about getting a poem? He said he'd give me a key to the catacombs if you read his note. Gross. Gross? All right, since it's for Isabel, I'm sure it's yet another ode to my hair or face or something. Uh, tell him I blushed prettily and said I would read it later when I'm alone. Good luck. Oh, dear. I think he's just over there. Oh, I thought she was going to leave. <laughs> oh, look at him. I saw you talking to her. Isn't her voice beautiful? Like a gentle brook burbling through a forest glade. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Ahem, ahem. Did you give her the note? How I gave her the react? poem. I gave her the poem. She blushed and said she would read it later. Ah, gentle dove. She is an Aedra come to Nern. Her beauty is too much for we poor fools. Yep. I fancy myself a rather decent poet, you know. One day. One day. Wait. I was supposed to do something for you, wasn't I? I need the key to the catacombs. Yes, of course. Here you go. I shall remember your service to true love. Uh, perhaps with a line in the epic romance I have been writing. The heroine is named Lorelia. Once it's completed, I'll have a bard perform it. And you shall be invited. Oh, well, thank you. Great. Thanks for the key. she say anything different? Good luck in the catacombs. And tell Isabel to be careful. Maybe that's why she said gross. She's not into dudes. She's a lady lover. I think that's it. 
Alrighty, let's meet Isabel in the chapel. Wait, she got her own key? God damn it. I could have just waited there. She found her own key. Oh. Unlock the catacombs. Some delicious star metal. There was a tomato in that shelf? What the hell? Door's locked. A trunk. Oh, nothing to steal here. Oh. It's all looted. I didn't loot. I hope you've had oh. better luck than I did. The stewards were no help at all. What do you mean the stewards were no help? You're in here! Anyways. You've got a key? Wonderful! Well, maybe this is what's locked. Oh! All right. Let's see if we can find that fancy loot. Is it way Sir Brenville probably made it there? deep into the crypt. There's an exit to go visit the hooded figure down there. Ugh, that's the other thing in this new character is I gotta do the friggin... These catacombs have been built up over generations. Might be a bit twisty down here. Still have to do all the Cold Harbor stuff, which is just... Ugh. I don't really want to. I've done it a few times and that was enough. At least it's a little easier to do now. When I first did it, it was back in the days of when you had to, you could only do each quest every five levels or whatever. Now you can just start it and complete it like in a day. Yeah, when I first started playing this game was in the open beta on PC. Not a, not open, sorry, closed. And then I played it very early on on the Xbox. Uh, oh god, I, I got it for cheap, so... You spider eggs? I can use those. So I've been playing for a while and they've changed it a lot. I remember running around when you couldn't go as different races to different zones and imagine? stuff because you would get attacked. And they removed that. Also, no level scaling Hello? back in the day. I say Langley. Is that you? Help a fellow out? Mortens. It's Isabel Valois, Mortens. I'm here with my second. We'll try to help you. Whoever you are, I was here first. You gotta hang back. Turning honor demands it. Are you stuck in there? No, I'm... Well, I'm hiding. What a pussy. I'm a bit of a fear spider, you see. In my defense, I made it past a bunch of the smaller ones. But I lost my nerve when a giant red-eyed beastie leapt out at me. Well, good luck in there. We're heading into the catacombs. Just a moment. You won't get very far without the key to the deep crypt. Which I just happen to have. Ha! What luck? Um, I tell you what. When that thing surprised me, I may have dropped my sword. Return it to me, and I'll slip you the key. What do you say? All right, we'll find your sword in exchange for the key. Guys, it's such a pity that I have to pull up on this task. Lady Aurelia is a treasure. Lovely to look at, and so well. So well connected. Alright. Does she have anything new to say? I know Stendar preaches patience, but that man is insufferable. Ugh. Let's find his sword, shall we? Alright. Let's do it. Let's find his sword. Oh, this place is actually huge. What the hell? I never used to fight this much until I met you. Sorry. Uh, maybe I have to stay up top to get the sword. Some delicious ashes. Mix that into your food. It's good for you, I've been told. 
Oh, an empty cabbage crate. How sad. Is there a bone flare in here? I think the little uh, power laser I got is a little overpowered. I don't know. I always hear that groaning when I'm walking around. Is that Miri making that sound? Definitely very weird. Alright. Oh, oh, there's the big guy. Oh, this little guy scared you, made you drop your sword? What's his name? Goliantis. Oh, he's pretty juicy, anyways. Hey! There's no squirting your webs on me. Hat of High Isle. Oh, a trunk. I have, like, no uh, unlocks from High Isle. I've never really done anything on this area. <sighs> You're, like, a snake or a mouse? Something? I like to kill snakes because Miri likes it. He likes it when I kill snakes. Oh, it's a centipede. Gives me a little bit of a rapport with her. Oh, I was hearing this spider. Okay, oh, Risen Frost Mage. Let me show you the power of my words. I jack. What are these guys all doing down here? You guys are like living underneath the castle. They need to send some fools down well, here. Got his... Oh, what did she say? Well, we've got his sword. Here's hoping he Another holds line. up his end of the bargain. Morton's, I swear to Stendar. Another line that probably no one has heard. I'm getting some fighters guild experience too, so that's good. I think I'm gonna unlock. Oh, wait a minute. There's new guys for Necrom that I could get too. Some more companions. I gotta look them up and see exactly what their special abilities are and how to level them up and stuff. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. Let's give Whoa. Morton's his sword. Is that you all with my sword? Yeah? I'm a spider. If you're a spider, please leave. It's a spider. We found your sword, Morton. Oh, you're back. Um, I'll pass it to you. How lovely. Did you manage to find my sword? Oh, wait a minute. I'll slide it under the door? Oh, wow. There actually is a space under the door. Crazy. Oh, you're... Oh, very good. You know, I've always said that Isabel was a fair hand. Never doubted you for a moment. <clears throat> Here's your key. The door to the deep crypt should be off the main chamber east of here. Thank you! Yes, well, we're both sporting. Well done all around. Perhaps you won't mention this when telling the tale of your trial? I'm sure Isabel won't say a word. There's there, I'm both played. Good luck to you both. <clears throat> Does she have anything else to say? It's surprisingly soothing, this little place. The tranquility of the grave, I suppose. <laughs> you gonna be alright in there? I found the lantern, I have my sword. I shall be perfectly fine. Good luck with the spiders. And the ghosts, and whatnot out there. Good lord. And Isabel? If Sir Brenvale managed to reach his goal, he'll be rather deep into the crypts. Apparently. Okay. This way, this way. Oh, down here. Oh, look at that door. I wonder if there's any other quests in this zone. It's quite the big area they built just for this. Let's kill a wraith. Quite the... I really don't like your odds. Oh, I destroyed him. Yeah, quite the big area for just this companion quest. Let's see here. Holy! Are those I've never candles? been this far into the catacombs. What a story this will make. Indeed. Let's see if we can find that fancy loot. Yes, let's. Why am 
I not hitting that guy? Oh, Ooh, Fighter's Guild leveled up. Warm-up? Nice. Keep your guard up until you've got your footing. Oh, my footing is up. Don't worry about it. Are any of these lootable? I guess, is there anything good in these? I'll let that guy live this time. He can keep on trucking. These guys are just chilling, and I come in and just nuke them to death. Hide helmet of stamina in the Khajiit style. They say that Sir Brenvale died at the hands of a ghost, the old Mad Duke. What about a bone colossus? Did he say anything about a bone colossus? Eleven gold. That's it. No. Can you imagine? Wait, what did she say? Let's see if we can find that. Dang it! She said something different that I clicked through. I didn't think she was gonna say anything new. I messed up. That skeleton didn't know what was happening. This is like a, uh... Oh, the Mad da Baron! He wants to take my... He wants to take my thingies. But I need my thingies, I like them. Roll! Roll if you can! I can roll, don't worry about me. Uh, oh. Look, I think that's the loot. Oh. And His that body? must be what remains of Sir Brenvale then. Yeah, he's he did. A golden loot belonging to the Sir, deceased Sir Brenville, Order of the Albatross. We got it. Drake, oh. let's get out of here. La! At last, someone has retrieved my gilded loot. Can you rest in peace now? Come, follow me. Away from this place. That ghastly mad spirit may return anon. Oh. You gonna take me out the side exit? Oh, totally. Well done. Well serenade you on your way. Oh, Sir Brenvale did enter these halls with a heart full of He's song. walking very fiercely. Love. It did not take him long to hear the spirit's calls. He walks oh. just like me. He met the Mad Duke in combat. Oh ho! And they danced with swords all night long. Love. Alas. Brenvale's skill Is he supposed was to be singing? Not, and the quest went all wrong. Oh! And now you know the end of the tale. He's playing an oh, air oh. loot. This is where I bid you adieu. That was a sick air loot, bro. Sir Brenvale, the golden voiced, the silver tongued, once the head of the Order of the Albatross, at your service. Oh, gentle folk. The Order of the Albatross sent us to retrieve your loot. Of course they did, good chaps. And of course, I was one of the Order's most renowned composers. They no doubt wish to put my beautiful gilded loot in a place of honor. I'm assisting my friend in her trial for the Order. Ah, yes, I'm sure when I did not return, there were many a fair damsel who wept, inconsolable tears. After all, once you hear my voice raised in song, to know the voice of Sir Brendel the Golden was silenced. The tragedy. Well, thanks for the loot. Of course, of course, I commend your efforts. Please, let the rest of the Order know that I, Sir Brenvale the Golden, shall now depart this plane at last. My next performance will be in the great theaters of Aetherius. Adieu. Adieu, Isabel. Farewell. Well done. Farewell. 
See you later, buddy. Nice knowing you. Where do we exit out of? Oh wow, we traveled a fair amount of ways. Ah, fresh air. Oh. Those catacombs were musty as a a fair amount of ways. Uh, is what I just as said. As a crypt. Isabel. Not quite how I imagined that would go, but we faced the Mad Duke, walked with the spirit of Sir Brenvale, and lived to tell the tale. I'm sure the Order will approve. The gilded loot of Sir Brenvale is yours. How are you feeling? Good. Except for the make up a poem or sing a song about it part coming at the end of the tourney. That I'm less excited about. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Tell me about the Oaken Order. Oaken Knights tend to be battle mages, conjurers, and support spellcasters. Like me. Their power stems from High Isle's strong tradition of druidic magic. Not like me. Our trial will be to convince an elder of their order to give us a staff made of old wood oak. Easy. Do we talk to the mage or fight them? I'm guessing it won't be that straightforward, but who knows? There's a way shrine near the Coral River to the east. I'll meet you there, and we can make for the site of the trial. Let's get that staff for the Oaken I'll meet you near the Order. Old just up the road. All right. Oh, Off we go. That sword. That weirdo sword and shield that was floating. It was Isabel's. Oh, so she, like, despawned over there and ran down the hill, but her sword and shield stayed. Very weird. Where am I going? She said just east of here. I don't, s I don't see a marker anywhere. What map? Meet Isabel near the Way Shrine. Oh, it's there underneath the Way Shrine. Dude, it's so small. Oh, what the heck? Parkour! Oh, God! I lived to tell the tale. The only thing I really wish they had in ESO compared to, like, other MMOs is more, like, uh... Not random drops, but like, you could get, if you farmed some crabs, you could eventually get the drop of a pet or something like that. I really liked to do that kind of thing in World of Warcraft, or like beating a boss a bunch of times and you'll get a mount or whatever. There's just so f little of that in ESO. Which, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but I definitely like liked it in World of Warcraft when I was playing World of Warcraft. Alright, Isabel. How did you beat me here? You don't even have a horse. Ugh. I thought I heard Snag yelling in the distance. He's another aspirant and a complete donkey's arse. Rude. Never mind him. We're on a quest. Right, the Elder and the Staff. Where do we go? So we have a bit of a leg up on this one. The Elder is a wizard named Erlebrew. He's actually a friend of my father's. <laughs> he used to tell me stories when I was young. Funny little man. And you needed to steal a staff from him? I would never. Stealing is, well, unknightly. Knowing Erlebrew, the challenge will be more about thinking and reason than magic or something. Uh-oh, I have to think and reason? All right, let's find this wizard. Right. If I remember correctly, I think he lives in a little grotto to the south, near the coast. He likes his privacy, our Oaken Elder. I'm not sure I've heard of a knightly order of mages before. I suppose in the stories, knights are usually all swords and glory. But the druids have been here forever, practically. Every kid in the sisters grows up knowing a little bit about runes and nature and the true way. I think they used to be. But no, these days anyone can join. Even non-mages who want to learn the ways of Ifre. Just another little quirk of life on High Isle. So quirky. Where are we going? Oh, just south of here. Yeah! Yeah. To the Wizard's Grotto. I also like rare spawns in it, uh, World of Warcraft. I know that's not very popular. But I think World of Warcraft did it better than like Elder... Or not Elder Scrolls. Final Fantasy XI. Where it would be like... 
you know, ugh, just never ever spawning. I think the spawn times were better in World of Warcraft. I feel. I've only played the MMOs I've played the most of, World of Warcraft by far, nice then Elder Scrolls Online, and Lord of the Rings Online, and I played a small, small amount of Dark Age of Camelot way back in the day, and then I played a little bit of EverQuest on my friend's account also way back in the day. I don't think I've really played any other MMOs or things you could be considered to be an MMO. Uh, I mean, like Warframe, I played a bunch of, but that's not really. It. Oh, I guess I played a bunch of Neverwinter. Is that what that game is called? The free-to-play D and D game. The only reason I even played that was because, um, I was off work one day and, oops, I didn't mean to do that, but. Well, I can't use the experience scroll till the other one runs out. Snag and Brelin all beat us here. Um, the only reason I played it was because these guys won't shut first. up. Uh, we arrived at the same time, you simpering buffoon. Oh. Well, you're still too late. A wizard's magic is no match for the strength and honor of this aspirant. For honor. Whoa. Where did he go? All right. Seems like the direct approach won't work here. I'm sure I can get he got yeeted. But yeah, the only reason I played Neverwinter was because ESO was like on maintenance. Did she just gets zapped out of existence. Oh wait, get what? Behind me, squires. Snag was here. He's just gonna first. do it again. Uh, we arrived at the same Are they time cursed to repeat forever? Buffoon. Well, you're still too late. A wizard's magic is no match for the strength and honor of this aspirant. See if I can get him to hit me. For honor. Ow! <laughs> Bye, buddy. All right. Seems like the direct approach won't work here. <laughs> I'm sure I can get this barrier open. Oh, she gets turned into a cat. Mousebane. Hmm. Malibu doesn't go easy on aspirants, it seems. So yeah, that was the only reason I played Neverwinter. I think the trick to this is the pillars themselves. And Take a look. I had some fun Be playing carefully. it, but that game is pay to win for sure. Just brute forcing the barrier is not the way to go. Let's see if the pillars hold any clues. Yeah, let's. Okay, what do we got here? Oh. Anything? They all look the same. Wait, what do we got here? This is like getting into a one of those things in Skyrim. There's a cat, there's a leaf, and there's a stork. Oh yeah, wood knot, frost heron, and cat's paw. A cat's paw. Hmm. Cat's paw, wood knot. Look at that branch there. Representing Spriggans, maybe? Forest Heron. Oh, I said uh, Frost. Looks like a Forest Heron, perhaps. Talk to Isabel. That old man. I know exactly how to bring down the barrier. He's lifted the pillars and the symbols from a story he told me as a child. This barrier is a story he told you? Almost exactly. A wise old sage puts up a barrier around his home. He's trying to protect a little girl he's raising from a fearsome dark night. She grows up to be a mighty warrior, but the sage makes her figure a way out of the sacred grove. How did she bring the barriers down in the story? In the tale, the symbols on the pillars held the key. Like the cat there. A cat's paw is a pretty little flower that grows in shady forests. And that bird looks like a forest heron. I'd bet anything you Oh, I one saw a heron. Flowers. And the branch of the third pillar? I've seen it before. It's a druidic symbol for Spriggans. In the tale, she befriended one that lived in the grove. She wore a Spriggans veil, a wreath of leaves they shed every year. Here, if you can find the items, I'll guard our spot. You got it. A heron's feather, cat's paw flowers, and a Spriggan veil. 
Okay. Hey, Aspirant Brolano. No, oh, she looks cool. God, what's that Maybe armor set? Find a nice sunny spot somewhere and close my eyes for a bit. That armor set is fucking sweet as shit, dude. What is she wearing? My head hurts. My back hurts. That barrier packed a powerful punch. Stupid wizards. His armor's not as cool. It's cool, not as cool. All right. I saw some pewter. I better go get it. On my uh, never have enough crafting that. guy. Ooh, critical hit. I have almost every different uh, trait. Every trait researched except like two, but then a bunch on the jewelry ones, of course. I don't even know how to find the other jewelry ones I need. It seems they don't appear naturally in the world. Well, I didn't actually have to kill a Spriggan. The story talks about befriending a Spriggan, but here I'm like, I'll just kill them all. Spriggan's Veil. Got it. And then Cat's Paw. Look at that bear! He's rubbing his back on a rock. He's just an itchy bear, and now he's gonna die. How rude of me. Blast him. You know, I like to think I'm agreeable. Cat's paw. That doesn't look like a cat's paw. That looks like a butterfly and maybe never mind. Cat's paw blooms. Oh, I didn't look at the description of those items. Oh well, they probably didn't say anything too impressive. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me use one of my 17 crown experience scrolls. What's this hermit crab drop? Nothing. Cool, I didn't need anything anyways. She's sitting down now. I just had the strangest dream. I think I was in a house full of cats, but none of them could help me. Was that the wizard's magic? Oh, I have... Oh, I have a powerful urge to eat fish suddenly. Goodbye. Well, you and Aspire and Isabel sure got the jump on me. Ha! <laughs> nice work, Second. You're doing good work out there. Thank you. Finally, some recognition. You're back. Looks like you found them. Just place them on the pillars there. That should lower the wards. Sounds good. Should I touch the barrier? <laughs> oh, it didn't really do anything. Cat's paw. Beautiful. Didn't that oh, it does show it. Okay. It's like, it doesn't show it. That's lame. Let's see what the Spriggan... A Spriggan's veil. Powerful symbolism. It's just a leaf. That did it. And then a feather. Tickle your ass with a feather. We made it. Let's go say hello to the old man. Goodbye. Dude, imagine this was your little alcove where your house was at. Dude, that would be sick. He's got like flowers, he's got a little beehive, bird nests, own hair on. Uh, I don't know where he goes to the bathroom. He ain't got no outhouse, and there ain't no plumbing inside. Oh, this is sweet. Hope it doesn't flood. Ooh. The dark and stormy night. Burlebrews College. Cottage. College. Can talk to him. I'm all sweaty. My god, I can rob this guy's house? P free pumpkin? It's in your desk, bro. Some crappy bracers. Bringing the book for travel is well worth the pack space. Some baked Shameless apples. So Don't mind me, sir. Pewter ring. 
Miri liked it if I read books. Anyways. Is she gonna say anything different? Now that we're inside, I don't suppose you'd chat with the old man for me. Be tongue tied or something? Alright. Erla Brew. Ooh, oh, this guy's cool. Then. Figured out my barrier, did you? And is that little Izzy I see back there? Yes, I'm acting as her second. You sa she said you used to know her as a child. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I hoped it would be her. She remembered the tale of Mariette La Courageuse, eh? <laughs> so nice you two could come out, eh? Usually it's just me and the forest spirits these days. Would you mind if we took your staff? Of course not. Solve the puzzle, take the staff. That's the idea, right? Oh, it's out back leaning against the cottage. Enjoying good health, second. Thank you, Air Brew. Off you go then, and be careful where you put that thing. That staff's like me. It might be old, but it can still zap the ears off a rabbit if you aren't careful. Were you hoping Isabel would complete your trial? Oh, no, 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 that would be wildly inappropriate. I pulled this challenge directly from the pages of one of my favorite books. <laughs> Who can blame me? I'm a daffy old wizard. <laughs> Au revoir. Oh, lass. No need to dawdle near the door like you're still a squire. <laughs> Thank you, you old goat. Still thinking of me all these years later. Just need to grab that staff now, and the oaken trial is in the bag. In the I mean, bag. Not literally. I, I don't have a bag large enough for the staff, but you understand my point. Yep, I do. Off you go then, and be careful where you're. Okay, he doesn't have anything new to say. I like your house. Oh, Isabel. Just need to grab that staff now. Oh, look at this tree. I wonder if you can get like all these things is like well the staff looks cool as hell. Um, as like decorations for your house. An oaken mage's staff. Carved for, with druidic runes. All right, Isabel. We've got the staff. The moment I heard Earl of Brew was representing the order, I knew we might have a shot. Well done. Are you glad the Oaken trial is behind us? I am. Those stories Earl of Brew told me when I was little, they're a part of why I'm in the tourney today. And I won't lie, it's nice to know he still cares about me. Strange, lovely man. Let's move on. We've completed all three trials, Isabel. What now? All that's left is to present the trophies. Everyone will be gathered at the tourney pavilion. I'm excited. And nervous. I get a bit... uncomfortable being the center of attention. Here, meet me on the jousting grounds. We'll head in together. I'll see you there! All that's left is to go to the tourney pavilion and present our trophies. My nerves are jangling like horse barding. Jingle, jangle, jungle. Oh. It says there's a... It's above me. I don't think I can get that. There's a uh, sky shard here. What a cool little area. I wonder if that area is blocked off if you come when there's... Before you're doing the quest, if you can't get in there. Be pretty fun actually. Forget the runes. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to get to that sky Pick shard. The pace, squire. We must hasten to our next adventure. Where do your scribbles lead? What the heck scribbles? are these? I had to draw that map because you left the road to chase a fictional dragon. It's not my fault we're lost. Do these guys have a quest or something like that? Nah. I'm in the yeah. midst of my questing right now. Wait, why is that imp, like, looking icy? See a different brand of imp? He did not seem to be a different brand of imp. I'll collect some Namira's rot. Delicious. I never have enough of that. Eat it raw. 
All right, we are going here. Wow, the fast travel. Truly incredible. Off to the Tourney Pavilion. Wow, when I first came here to get to the Tourney Pavilion, I went through the castle. I went through all the doors to get to the Tourney Pavilion. I didn't know you could just ride around here. Okay, we're here. Who's here? Oh, Enretta Arante. Ooh, she looks cool. Look at her hair. She's just eating a giant drumstick. Her Brew's here. Gidrick Flowery. Berja. Mirik de Young. Omelia. Bertulis. She's looking ragged as fuck. Lord Remard de Fule. Spiron Bellani. All right. Isabel, you've saved me. Uh, uh, I hello. My place. I promised Mother I wouldn't embarrass you mean, her. You mean Constance? Please tell me you've good news. I saw Sir Lang. No credit again, as usual. In a temper. He's got a whopper of a bruise too. Oh, I do hope my Isabel didn't punch him. She's not usually the punching sort, but he is such a well, a ninny. Wow. All right. What does she got to say? I think my nerves are as settled as they're going to be. I get more anxious doing formal things like this than I do fighting werewolves. Oh, come on, Izzy. Deep breaths. What do we do now? We walk in, and the tourney herald announces us. I go forward and claim the trophies. As my second, you have the honor of displaying each of them as I call them out. Oh, and most important, don't start laughing when I recite a poem. You're reciting a poem? It's tradition, Stendar, help me. The Order of the Albatross requires it. Having you do this with me was more than helpful. You've been a calm and steady influence. A real partnership. Thank you. Let's just get through this last bit. I'm ready. Follow me. The sooner we start, the sooner it's over. Present Red Heart's Hilt. I'm in my finest gear. Lords and ladies, men and myrrh. A knight aspirant approaches the stage. Lady Isabel Belvoir. Let's get things started. Dame Oroflet the Valiant. Your second may present any trophies you have won. Together, we found the hilt of Blade Redheart, lost in a battle long ago. This we present to the Order of the Iron Knot. Well done. Cool. To the Order of the Albatross, we present the Gilded Loot of Sir Brenvale. Oh, it is gilded. Wonderful. Now, Night out in the rain. We could hear a poem or ditty about the adventure, Aspirin. <clears throat> the loot of gold did gather mold, lost for many years. I cannot lie, Brenvale did die, tripping on a tomb. And finally, we present the Oaken Order with the Staff of the Wild Woods, after solving the wizard Erlebrew's puzzle. The Oaken Order oh, wow. commends you, Aspirant. It's huge. Aspirant Velois, claiming all three trophies makes you the champion of the Sapphire Tourney. Sweet. Come. You have earned a boon from your commander. From this day forward, you are a knight of High Isle. Be oh. brave, courteous, loyal, <laughs> and act with What is honor. she doing? Arise, Dame Isabel Velois. Lord Commander, I know what my boon will be. You may know as well. Please release Aurelia from the promise you made. Allow her to make her own choice to marry or not, as she sees fit. I cannot deny such a selfless boon. Aurelia is free to make her own choices, within reason. Oh, thank the eight. Dame Isabel, I am deeply impressed. 
I wish to speak with you and your second. Find me in my office at your convenience. All right. Go to the Knight Commander's office. See what Isabel has to say about that. I couldn't have done this without you. Let's see what the commander has to say before I thank you myself. Sounds good. Aurelia. Mother wants to speak to you first. She never likes to be kept waiting. Okay. Rulaburu. Of course, of course. I had to come and see the presentations. It's good to see my fellow Oaken Order members every once in a long while. And I had some turkey leg, you know. <laughs> Plus, we'll get to see dear Izzy with the tourney, won't we? With the tourney? I'm astonished that Isabel decided not to take advantage of the Knight Commander's promise. It's only a rumor, of course, but some seem to think that Dame Isabel rather fancied Lady Aurelia. More than just friends, don't you know? Well, that's what I thought, too. I can't talk to this drunk old bag. Playing late. Well... I suppose luck was no, on your side. No, it wasn't today. luck. It was skill. I must say, though, you and Lady Dame Isabel were a bit sly at the old stone woods. Not sure I'd call sneaking around and finding another entrance nightly behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, buddy. All right, Burjo, do you feel like a colossal jackass now? I'm honestly not sure if I am cut out for the life of a knight. No. Oh. He seems fine with it. Cannon Reeve Rinfarin. All right, let's go. The Night's Wing. And then the Night's Watch. There was some corn in there. How lucky. Oh, we're getting a few blueprints. I don't know if my, um... My crafter knows them, but... I'll send them on over. She already told me where to go. Star metal. I was gone long enough for these things to all respawn their contents. Hachi machi. One lockpick. Nope, oh, another desk. Another desk. Another corundum. You did well, Isabel. It seems as though your second was a great boon to you today. Yeah, it was me. Second, step forward. I'd like to speak to you. All right, I'm here. Oh, she was amazing. I am so proud of you. Dame Isabel, what a nice ring to it. They're far more than a mere second, Commander. There's a kitty cat here. Just called Cat. Sad. Aurelia. I can tell she's trying to hide it, but I think Mother's happy how things turned out. And it's all thanks to you and Isabel. She's standing right there, literally. Isabel. I wonder what she wants to talk about. She doesn't seem upset, at least. That's an improvement. All right. Talk to me. I've known Isabel, Dame Isabel, for many years. It was encouraging to see her push herself like this. I believe your able assistance may have also played a part? I was happy to help. Well, I believe a knight should not be measured by the worth of their weapon, but by the allies they keep. The Knights of High Isle pride ourselves on our courtesy, and I personally always wish to honor good people. I'm not sure I follow? For acting as Dame Isabel's second during this year's Sapphire Tourney, I want to formally extend my thanks, as both Knight Commander and as a mother. You're very welcome. That was it? I've been so tense and worried over Mother's rash promise. I knew my Isabel would help make things right. And you too, of course. Thank you a thousand times. No problem, dog. What a day. I suppose that just shows what determination can get you. When the tourney began, Aurelia was in the depths of despair. I was... well... I was struggling. Congratulations. Now look at us. Now look at us. Me and Paul Rudd. Congratulations, Dame Isabel. <laughs> Thank you. Take the credit you're due. You kept me focused, gave me a sounding board, and most importantly, I knew whatever happened, I wasn't alone. I can't tell you what that meant to me. I was glad to help. 
I still can't get used to it. Dame Isabel Valois. Valois. I dreamed about wearing shining armor, riding a valiant steed. So far, it's been crypts, creatures, and a lot of running around. <laughs> I've loved every moment. Except maybe the poetry part. What do you want to do next, lady? I've been thinking. I have a place here on High Isle, but I think I want to expand my horizons. I would like to see more, do more, learn more. If you could use a strong and loyal knight she joins of High me? Isle in your travels, <gasps> I'm, I'm shocked. Uh, never mind. No, sounds good. Oh, level twenty-five. Excuse me, I have to get my things. That's I want to get ready for adventure. I'm sorry, Mother, but you didn't break your word. And I didn't get stuck having breakfast across from Morton for Langley. I think things have turned out just the way they should have. Just be ready to see Isabel less often, dear. A page has turned on our little story. It said that was my first... ...companion. That's not my first companion. Um, I'm not going to use any of these. Oh, you know what I will take, though? I'll take the Restoration Staff, in case I respec to do a dungeon. Still can't take any of these. So I'll leave them. Dorvel. So Isabel will leave High Isle and learn about the wider world. It truly is a brand new day. I'm glad she'll have someone capable like you by her side. She's like a second daughter to me. <laughs> Not that you heard me say that. I heard it. I have to ask, why did you promise Aurelie's hand in the first place? I... I hesitate to say. If I tell you, do you swear on your honor that you will share this with no one? Particularly not Isabel or Aurelia. Uh, I swear. When Aurelia was very young, her father passed away. She barely remembers him, dear man that he was. I spoke to a druid, an old woman in the woods, and asked for her blessing so that Aurelia would have a good, easy life. What does that have to do with your promise? The witch in the wood made me promise that Aurelia would win favor as a knight, or win a knight's favor by the time she reached my age. As you can tell, Aurelia is hardly knightly material, and that deadline is quickly approaching. You promised her hand so that you would hold true to your bargain? I did, and thank the divines she won the favor of a knight. I saw the witch at Isabel's knighting ceremony, and she gave really? me a sly wink. Our I wonder if that was the old met, drunk bag. My daughter is safe. Thanks to you, Second, and Dame Valois. Thank you for, thank you for speaking to me, Knight Commander. Nice. Isabel is so happy and excited to go off adventuring. I didn't think about her leaving me. Er, uh, us. Oh, but listen to me. I sound selfish. I am so happy for her. You will watch out for her, won't you? Yeah, yeah. What are your plans now, Aurelia? Now that I'm no longer looking at a bleak future as some dreary night's bride? Hmm, I haven't quite decided yet. With Isabel leaving High Isle... I think perhaps it's time I did the same myself. You're going to travel? Well, Isabel what? keeps encouraging me to pick up a trade or a hobby to get me out of my chambers here at the castle. I've never quite considered what that might be, but now the whole world seems full of promise. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Who knows is right. All right, the last thing to do, rob this place. And summon my new friend to see what she has to say once I rob this place oh the trunk is empty a great sword a mall red rye beer delicious what's her name is gonna be like where did all my stuff go I swear I had ten swords in my room they're all gone. Yeah. Isabel Valois. Let's summon her. Where is she? Oh, there she what is. What new tale will we tell? How can I help? Nice. Do I have any gear for her or anything? Bestows a chance upon after defeating a world boss to recover a pack of slain knight. The pack of a slain knight. Packs may contain additional loot. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't have any new gear for her. Maybe in my bank. Anyways, that's the end of uh, this one. Thanks for watching with my new character, Constance Odette. Level 25 already. Arcanist. So good. I'll be back with another one, and I hope to see you there.